Well, good morning. It's another beautiful day here in northern Maine. I'll go for a little walk today back in uh, to my forest over here, part of the woods. And uh, my wife and my son were back in here and uh, they told me that there's a bunch of trees down. So i um, interested to see just how many and whatever. I'll go back in and check it out. But uh, I wanted to talk to you this, about the thing of spiritual sickness. Have you been spiritually sick? Uh, I'm going to show you a verse of scripture here in the book of Daniel. Let's see about that. Daniel 8, verse 27 says, And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days. Afterward I rose up and did the king's business, and I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. Interesting, isn't it? He was sick certain days after having that discussion with the angel and the, the visions of the future and everything else. I can see why you'd be sick if you saw what you know the way the world is right now. <laughs> Certainly it makes me sick too. But there's no indication of why he was sick certain days. Uh, in other words, it wasn't that he was got the flu or something or whatever. It seems like it's connected to the thing of him getting those spiritual visions. Hmm. And um, I want to show you a passage of scripture from the New Testament now with the Apostle Paul. Let's check this one out. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. <clears throat> verse 7 says, And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So there you have it, another one there. And uh, it's an interesting thing because a lot of debate has gone back and forth among, among Christians down through the years about what was this infirmity, this thorn in the flesh, the minister of Satan that was there to buffet Paul. What was that? Some say it was his failing eyesight or whatever else. I don't know. Uh, that could have been it, definitely. But if your eyesight is failing, it's not really something that you can pray to the Lord and say, take this away, you know. Um, I think it was another type of spiritual sickness. And um, as you get older as a Christian and the Lord uses you more and the process of sanctification and everything else, you'll find that you will get spiritually sick that just out of nowhere, I mean, you can be perfect nutrition, everything's just fine. And all of a sudden, you just, you know, you're, you get really sad, really depressed. You just kind of down, and and there's no, you know, rhyme or reason to it. It just doesn't make any sense. Why am I feeling this way? You know, I am in good nutritional health. I uh, plenty of sleep, and I don't understand. Get good exercise and everything, and all of a sudden you just boom down you go, and you just you feel so weak and you feel sick. I think that's what they were going through. And um, and it was a spiritual attack, so to speak. Um, and so, um, I know I just had it just a little while ago, um, just this past Thursday, uh, there was a place that came up for sale. And it was in the evening, and I was... Um, you know, just right before we were ready to leave, I had to go do some things on my computer quick before I shut the computer down and came back home here. And went and I just checked out the, you know, Redfin or whatever, and, and I saw this new place that came up for sale in our area, and I thought, you know, that might be a possibility for us. It was a nice property and needed work, but, you know, not too bad or anything. And I thought, well, uh you know, might check this out. So I contacted our realtor that I've dealt with for many years and I said, hey, uh, you know, would it be okay if we could set something up? You know, could you send me the information on this property and I'd like to check it out. And uh, 
then we left. So the next day we got there Friday morning, this, like I said, this past Friday, and there was an email from him and there was the, uh, you know, the seller's disclosure and the, or property disclosure and the seller, you know, the, their statement and whatever else, what does it need and, and you know, things like that. And, uh, and I checked it out and I looked and I thought, yeah, I think this would work for us. Definitely like to take a look at it. Sent him an email back. Uh, yeah, we're interested, you know, could we set up a time? He said, yeah, let me check on it. We're right back and we're back and forth, you know, and, and he was going to set up a appointment for us on Saturday. He said, that's the soonest I can do this. And I said, yeah, hey, that's fine. You know, it was Friday when I was writing. So I said, you know, tomorrow would be fine. We could go and check this place out. And I'm thinking, wow, you know, this might actually happen. You know, this might be the place. Uh, it's an old farm built in 1900 and uh, hasn't been lived in in a long time. And um, I thought, wow, this is really good. Sounds great. A uh, little bit after that, he contacts me back and he says, just went under contract. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, that had to have been an investor or something. I don't think any regular person went and saw it and, you know, put an offer on it or just said, I'll buy it. I think it was an investor because the place was, you know, cheap. And so some investor came along and, and grabbed it really quickly before I could get to look at the place. You know, and it, it just kind of depressed me. And I thought, you know, and I was at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, Lord, thank you. The answer is obviously no on that place. Okay, you know, I guess back to the drawing board. But it depressed me. And... And I just kind of thought, well, you know, I'll have to just get over it, I guess. And, uh, but man, the, over the next few days, then another place came up for sale. It was down in the area and we decided to take a drive down there and we we're driving down there. And I just felt this extreme sort of a depression come over me and it was really bad and it lasted for a few days and um just really just nasty this depression so looking at some of the trees definitely you can see that one came down right there that one over there can't point to it with my hand there you go um there's some more down and over in here here behind me you can see there's some down there and there two there uh, just the really heavy snow we got just snaps these trees off but i'd like to hear from you in the comments down below do you are you feeling this thing where all of a sudden you know there's some kind of a just this weird sort of a spiritual attack and and all of a sudden you just think man you, you know and you just feel down and like you can't even get anything accomplished just such deep depression i hate that feeling Look at that one split pretty bad just split tree goes off that way and there's a lot of damage back in here from that really bad storm it's heavy snow and then it was windy not good not good for a forest so you can see some more here around me there's another one all smashed up over there walk over this way yet but, um, and I feel sometimes as though, you know, you can kind of, that fellowship of the Spirit that you have with, through the Holy Spirit to God, that we are part of His body, and there are times the Lord's really upset about something and we can feel it. You know, I've felt that for many years as well. So, but like I said, let me know what you had to say about this. Are you feeling the same thing? Just the spiritual sickness of... You know, you just feel literally sick. And sometimes you might even be sick. You know, and again, I've I've had this thing of just just getting really tired and I just think, okay, come on, snap out of it. And I'll try to sing hymns and and uh you know think about a sermon to preach or whatever else. And um I just it's it's like I can't come out of it. It's so weird. So there's a badly 
mangled up stump right there. Just, just destroys it. All that weight and in the wind. You can see how it's, the log is cracked up. So, crazy. Logs down everywhere. Problem is that too, when they when they come down like that and they're just they're cracking and things. Um, the problem is that you have the cracks can go really far up the tree, really ruin it. Can't use it for you know building anything or whatever. Uh, but uh, I guess that'll be it for this video. Just wanted to do a real quick one here on this issue. Um, but I'd like to hear your thoughts, like I've said. Are, are you experiencing this spiritual sickness? And, um, you know, like, the, like Paul wrote there, that uh, he besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from him. And the Lord said, No, my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Uh, it's kind of a rough thing. So that will be it. Let me know, like I said down there in the comments, and again, let me just reiterate it. It's good if you can hit the like button, because that kind of goes against the whole YouTube thing where they want to have people that not that don't like me. Um, but if you say, I like the content here, and, uh, you know, that's important. And if your comments are being deleted and you're being unsubscribed, it's not me that's doing it. Right, I don't delete that many comments unless somebody's putting links to other websites in and whatever else. So uh, just to make that clear again. Um, but that will be it. I'll see you in the next video.